Okay, so you'll have to excuse the poor lighting and crappy camera quality because I'm filming this on my iPhone. I don't have my camera with me and I just really wanted to start making videos again even though it's been years since my last video. Um, quick update, I'm in a mental health rehab. I kind of had a psychotic episode and so I was in the hospital and I transferred out to a rehab and I actually just got out of a psych hospital because I ended up leaving this rehab in the middle of the night which wasn't smart I wouldn't do it again I wouldn't recommend doing that if you're in a really nice treatment center like I am but I ended up leaving and I did some dangerous things and so they brought me to the psych hospital after they convinced me to come back anyway I figured I'd do a what to pack for the psych ward video just to have some continuity with my last video years ago which was how to pack for rehab so in a psych hospital you'll first do an assessment to determine if you need to be in a psych hospital and sorry um they'll ask you like all the standard psych eval questions like what your symptoms are what your diagnosis is or if you have multiple different ones um they'll ask like if you know why you're being brought in that day and what behaviors or symptoms you're exhibiting that they could deem you um a risk for and if they should uh, admit you or not and obviously i was admitted and the day-to-day -day of a psych ward is you usually wake up around 6, 7, or 8 a.m. depending on the unit that you're in and they'll wake you up for breakfast and med medications then you'll have groups for a good part of the day before lunchtime and after lunch and groups are like processing group or um, group therapy and it's not super helpful but they try to teach you skills like DBT skills, coping skills, they try to do a little bit of psychoeducation and it's technically mandatory to go because it, it looks better if you go you have a better chance of getting out but anyway after um the groups and the meals in the evening you have like six hours of da downtime and i try to sleep my way through my hospital stay so that i wasn't so miserable but um there's if you don't find something to do the time can just seem to never pass because you don't get your phone at 99% of psych words. This last one I was at let me have my phone from like 7 to 8 p.m. and that was like a miracle. I'd never heard of that before. Anyway, so let's go over the prohibited, prohibited items. You can't bring anything valuable because they don't want it to get stolen. So you can't have any jewelry, you can't have any like iPods or other electronics and you also can't have any products that have alcohol in the ingredients so you just like if you bring any toiletries with you make sure they're sealed and that they're um, no alcohol in them you also can't have electronics I don't know if I just said that sorry if I did but anyway yeah you can't have electronics but I would recommend you bringing your phone because you may luck out and your unit may let you use your phone but it's also nice to have your phone when you discharge so if they don't allow it they'll just keep it safe for you and also you can't have any hardback books because it's deemed like a safety risk and some psych wards don't let you um have pens or like colored pencils or markers but that varies depending on which one but most of them won't allow pens you'll have to use another writing instrument okay so for the miscellaneous items i wrote down like entertainment and miscellaneous the first thing I would bring is something to occupy your time. So I I would suggest bringing your own crayons. They usually will provide some crayons and coloring pages, but they're just, they've been used and abused by hundreds if not thousands of clients and patients. So it's just better to use your, to bring your own to pass the time. Because even if you aren't into coloring, 
there is nothing else to do in a psych ward just color make the time go by bring your own crayons and either print out some coloring pages or get a soft like a soft bound soft cover sketchbook or coloring page that you can just color in and then I would bring a soft cover book to read like one or two of them because they usually don't have um, many books and if they do they're not very good or of your interest so I would bring a couple books to read like again make sure it's soft cover and then I would also see if you can have markers and if you can bring some thin line fine tip markers so that you can use it to write with if they don't allow pens sometimes they'll allow markers and then I would bring again a soft cover journal because you can spend a lot of your time writing and I love to write and it's also like one of my coping skills so it's nice to be able to like take down notes or just journal how I'm doing throughout the day and sometimes they, they will have like these four inch like super thin they're basically just the the nub and the pen ink part of the pen and it's like four inches long it's the same pen that you get in jail and they're awful to write with but when you don't have anything else it'll do in a pinch it's literally the same pen you get in jail and yes i have been to jail so i would know and then on that on the on a page of that soft cover journal i would write down a list of like five of your contacts that you would wish to contact because like i said you won't have access to your phone but you'll have access to a phone in the unit usually and you can make phone calls and that's also another good way to kill an hour or two plus it's nice to stay in touch with loved ones and then for toiletries psych wards they'll provide everything that you need to survive but nothing you need to be comfortable and like pampered so they'll have like all-in-one soap that's like for your hands for your hair for your body and then they'll have a lotion conditioner combo which is like it's it's lotion and conditioner but it's not good at being either one so i would bring a travel size shampoo conditioner and lotion and honestly just use their toothbrush and toothpaste because every facility has different rules and they always have those two things and then i would bring a sturdy comb or a small brush and chances are they'll hold on to the brush for you but you'll get to like ask to use it but if you have like a if you get like a really nice comb from the you know from the store it can get through your hair better because they, again they provide you with the jail comb it's literally this long and it's super flimsy and then i would pack a few hair ties and that's something that like if you wear a bunch of hair ties on your wrist they'll think it's like straps and it's a hazard so they might like take them but what i did was i just put all the hair ties i thought i need for the week in my hair and put my hair in a bun that way like if i lost a hair tie it didn't matter because i had four in my hair and once you bring it into the unit they're not searching you they won't they won't care that you have all these extra hair ties but some psych hospitals are like no you can only have one unless it's in your hair and then they don't check uh for clothing you can't have any strings you know it's like a choking strangulation hazard and some units also don't allow you to have hoods so anything that you have make sure that it's not too strappy there are no strings no laces on your shoes and that it doesn't have any hood just to be on the safe side but i would bring slip on comfy shoes like slippers are great in a psych ward because you're not getting much exercise anyway your base like some of the places you can't go outside at all so i would just bring like hard soled uh slippers or shoes and then just a bunch of sweatpants and like baggy t-shirts and long sleeve shirts again no strings but it's also going to be kind of cold like they keep psych units really cold so i would bring like like sweaters like this like crew necks that are thicker and baggy the the rule is you want to be comfy and not bring anything prohibited so think of like all your comfy going to sleep pj type clothings and that's what you'd want to wear and then 
You can also bring one or two plain sports bras um, or like bralettes as long as they're not like having multiple straps, you know, just like the two shoulder straps and the band, that's it. And they don't allow like padded bras usually or underwires. So just bring literally two plain sports bras in. They may only let you have one, but just try. Um, also for socks and underwear, underwear, they're not gonna be picky about it really. But for socks, I noticed they only let me have ankle socks. They didn't let me have any socks that were, you know, like calf length socks because they didn't want you to like choke on it or tie it around your neck or anything. So I would bring ankle socks. Um, let's see what else. Oh, in psych hospitals, no, you cannot smoke. So if you vape or smoke, you're not gonna be allowed to do that. And I think that's all I've got for this video. Um, I will update you guys more on what it's like being in a mental health treatment center and also regular rehab. But for now, this is the video I'm gonna upload. Hopefully it doesn't suck.